We're talking about the death of the moon mission by Obama, the retirement of the Endeavor uh, shuttle to a museum, and the lack of uh, any discussion of this. There's another topic that's worthy of discussion. It just came out. White House silent over demands to this. You know what happened in the Muslim world and how Obama kept saying it was because of an anti uh, Mohammed YouTube video, right? Well, how about an anti Christian piece of garbage of a, um, well, I, I can't even describe what it is. It's basically crucifix dipped in the urine of a so called artist. I've been sickened by this for years now. But it's coming to New York City. It was funded by the National Endowment for the Filth. And the art gallery that's hosting it in Manhattan doesn't expect anyone to burn the gallery down. After all, Christians don't do those things. We are a tolerant nation. And as some people have uh, said, we demand that the Gov's thought work the same way that they denounced the anti-Muhammad film. Now, of course, you know you're not going to get any such response from a man who, although he claims to be a Christian, many feel is not really a Christian. Many feel his sympathies are that of the uh, Islamic faith. There's no way to know what the man really believes. I personally think he's an atheist. That's my personal feeling. Uh, I think most politicians that I have seen, the, the top people, have no belief whatsoever other than in power and absolute power and the corruption thereof. But the fact is... Why are they bringing to New York City where millions of Catholics live? Why are they doing this? Well, Mr. Donahue of the Catholic, Catholic League says this. He said the Obama administration has a double standard when it comes to incidents that might offend the Christian community. It seems like we have a protected class for Muslims as well as some other segments of our population. But when it comes to Christians, it's an all-out war. There's no question about that. It is. There's no question about that. Mr. Perkins of the Family Research Council said this. He said the lack of response from the provide an unintentional recognition. He says it's a recognition of the contrast between Christianity and Islam. You don't have to plead with Christians not to riot and burn and storm buildings simply because they are offended. That's the difference. That's why Christianity moves nations forward. Thank you, Mr. Perkins. Well said. The phone number here is 1-800-449-8255.